Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the, uh, the win against UMass, please. Maybe a word or two about Quincy's performance and that of your defense and what you expect to see as you uh, get back in the conference, begin conference play Thursday uh, at USF, please. Yeah, the, you know, I thought our kids came out and played hard and played physical like they always do. Uh, played really good situational football. Um, third downs were much improved defensively. Um, we created, I think, nine sacks, and then Quincy Roche had three of them. Um, so he had a really good night. Um, and it was no surprise because the way Quincy prepared the entire week, the way he was dialed in on game day, um, he had his iPad with all the cut-ups, um, and he was watching them all the way up until kickoff. So I thought it was his best week of preparation. Um, and so he's perfecting his process every single week, which we try to do with all of our kids. Um, so they learn every week how to improve, how to get their uh, game day routine down and their weekly routine down. And I think Quincy, um, as a young player, really has found that group early. And I'm uh, really proud of him. Um, the way he played the run as well, he did some really nice things in the run game also. Um, and then, you know, our guys just know how to finish. Um, you know, when the situations pop up, um, they they know how to focus play together um, and get, you know, get the job done. So I was really proud of the effort uh, that all the guys put forth. Any questions for Coach Jeff Collins, please? Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll go to Mark Narducci, Philadelphia Inquirer. Um, Jeff, you, you faced a formidable ground game at Notre Dame, and now you're you're going to face another one at South Florida. Do you, do you see any comparisons between the two? Yeah, I mean, they, they've got tremendous athletes across the board, uh, big physical offensive line, and then both offenses have a dynamic quarterback that can hurt you with his arm, um, and then it can hurt you with his leg. So they're a complete offense. Um, schematically, there are not a lot of similarities. Um, in what South Florida and Notre Dame does, but the, the personnel challenges, um, the speed of the game, those kind of things um, are, bo are both things that we've got to really pay attention to. We've got to be able to tackle in space. Um, they have some unique formations that we have not seen uh, so far this year. And then, you know, it goes back to, um, you know, the youth that we have um, fitting the run game, um, make sure we've got the proper calls, the proper stunts, and execute, you know, very cleanly in the run game because um, it's very similar to Notre Dame. The, the athletes are so good that if you misfit, you know, the run game, um, you're going to have some issues. Uh, so we've been working all week, you know, even though it is a short week, um, on making sure we're sound in the run game and then be able to, to defend the pass game. And then the extension of that um, is the quarterback making plays with his legs. Uh, when you do have the ball, the route's covered downfield. Um, so it, it's going to be a big challenge for us. We understand it, and, uh, you know, we're excited for Thursday night. Uh, thank you. We'll go next to Dan Tortora, wakeupcalldt.com. Hey, Dan. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you today? Doing wonderful. To look at the grit of your team in these last uh, couple games, and obviously your, your two early wins, just what you could say about how the team grinded it out and were able to finish in those games. Yeah, you know, it's, it, winning games in college football is never easy. Um, so we're, we take pride in the, the style of football that we play. Um, and every single week you go back through and you watch, you try to find hands teams and onside kicks of every single team. Some weeks you have to go three and four years back to find um, teams that are even in those situations. Uh, here at Temple, there's about 14 to 16 uh, hands teams or onside kick teams uh, plays in the in the queue just because we're in close games. We play a tough physical brand of football, and, you know, we're going to try to be tenacious, and then when the game's on the line, have a way to finish it. So um, I've just been really proud, really pleased with the way these kids approach football, the way they approach their daily business, and uh, they're just a great group to be around every single day to coach. And then as far as the Temple defense so far through these few, first few games, just what you can say you've seen from the defense, going along the lines of grit and, and what you see moving forward? Sure. Well, I, you know, obviously the first game, um, a lot of young players um, didn't fit the run cleanly and had a bunch of missed tackles. Um, so that's been the emphasis for two straight weeks, uh, defending the run, um, tackling really well and tackling in space. Um, so I think it's back-to-back, -back, you know, weeks under 100 yards rushing, um, you know, which is difficult to do in college football. So we're really honing in the run game. And then whenever we do get those one-on-one -on -one matchups on the perimeter, uh, making sure we win those matchups um, out there. And that's going to be a stress this week. Um, you know, South Florida really spreads you out across the field horizontally um, to get you out of the run fit. Um, so we just got to make sure we're gap sound 
and then when they do take their shots deep, um, you know, winning those 50-50 balls and making those making those passes difficult for them to complete. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. We'll go next to Sean Pastor, Owls Daily. Hey, Sean. Hi. Hey, Joe. Um, I wanted to ask you, I didn't get a chance the other night, just about a couple of the fourth down calls in that game against UMass. Um, it was late in the first half and you were down 7-3 and you had a fourth and three. Uh, you could have kicked a field goal. Just the decision to, to go for it there. We'll, uh, just to try that. Yeah, we're, we're going to play, you know, an aggressive brand of football. Um, you know, we go through the statistical analysis every week of every single situation. Um, you know, sometimes fourth and fives that go at certain yard lines. Sometimes it's fourth and ones that go. Um, so we have a lot of faith, you know, in our offensive line, our fullbacks, our, ta- our tailbacks, uh, to make the plays and to get the yards that we need. Um, and we're not going to shy away from taking the chances um, that we have with, you know, keep drives alive and to go for points. And a lot of that has to do on our defense, too. Uh, so we were going to put some stress on our defense at times because we're going to go for it on fourth downs um, and maybe some unconventional times, unconventional spots because um, we're going to go out there every day or every single game to win the football games. And, uh, you know, sometimes that means go for it on fourth down. Sometimes it means even early in the uh, early in the game going for it. So that's who we are. That's what we do. Um, we rely on our players. Um, and then conversely, if we don't get it, we rely on our defense, uh, you know, to put the ball down and make the stops. Okay, and then similar on the other side, UMass went for a fourth down um, in the third quarter. And it looked like you guys, your defense was a little bit late getting some players on. You know, that's the situation. Yeah, so Sometimes you, might, you might see a timeout. Yeah. I don't know what they uh... – Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we had been playing all along. Yeah, we had our, you know, defensive package where Kirkwood is in the game. It was third and forever. Um, you know, they got, you know, over half of it back. Um, and it was in a down and distance where it was a run pass option. And so we did, you know, we make sure in those down and distances we go back to nickel. Um, and they went tempo while we were trying to sub. A little, uh, little bit of confusion in the coverage. Um, and then we just, you know, let them convert on that. Um, but it was part of the plan. Um, just, you know, they hadn't really gone tempo in that situation. They did. And uh, so they, you know, they got us. It was good coaching on their part. And uh, they were able to convert just with a little miscommunication on the subs. Yeah, and in the second half, do you not call the timeout there because you know second half you really want to say more? Right. Yeah. We we just knew you know the situation that we wanted to make sure we had the timeouts more importantly than you know those kind of things. So um, and we actually had it covered and then just got beat across our face. Um, it should have been a dead play. We had the right coverage. We had the right blitz, um, but just they ran a good route and beat you know, beat the kid across his face, um, and we're able to convert on it. We had it covered. We just, you know, lost leverage. Okay, thanks. We'll go next to Leo Haggerty. It's Sports Magazine. Good afternoon, Hello. Coach. Hello. Coach, how much, how much of a challenge is it to try and get your defensive uh, personnel a look with how fast South Florida goes on offense? Right, yeah. I mean, the the nice thing, I mean, they, they do a really good job with their scheme, um, a really good job with their tempo, um, and just going against this kind of offense for the last eight years. Um, the big thing is what people try to focus way too much on is the tempo, and they don't get used to covering the scheme. Um, so the, the really good players playing a really good scheme is very challenging, but if you do too much on the tempo, then you never get your feet set, you never get to defend what is a really good scheme of offense. Um, so we've been making sure that we're sound in everything that we do, all of our defensive calls, all of our pressure um, versus all their run game and pass game, and then let the tempo come, um, you know, a couple of times in practice. But we do more so the scheme because it's a really good scheme, um, more so than the tempo. Just the kids have to understand that it's going to be fast and we can't panic. we got to have some poise and, uh, you know, get your feet set and play football. Coach, with Flowers in the game, touching the ball every play, is it essential that you set the edge every time? Absolutely, and he, he's a dynamic playmaker. Um, he makes really good decisions. Um, you can just see his poise um, in the pocket, his poise between the snaps. Um, so I've just been really impressed watching, um, watching his games and watching his play for the last two years. Um, he's a competitor, um, and then he's got some really good weapons to get the ball to. Um, both in the air and on the run game. 
Coach, last question, and thank you for your time. The last two years, Temple and South Florida played first team to 45 wins. Do you expect to see a lot of points on the board, both teams? I think, you know, we've got, you know, that's been an emphasis for us um, to make sure we put points up on the board um, and not let the opponent, you know, obviously uh, do too much damage. So we're just trying to do everything we can to score points and limit their offense. And we understand it's going to be a challenge, um, but we just talk about every single play. Um, we got to try to we're going to contain their offense, and then when we're on offense, move the ball, move the sticks, um, control the clock, control the game. Thank you, Coach. Good luck Thursday night. Thank you. And we can get one more in for Coach Collins, please. Okay, we'll go to Derek Sharp, USF Radio. Hey, Derek. Coach, real quick, real quick, thank you. You've got a receiver from Tampa, uh, Bryant, and I know he's gotten the single-digit treatment in the past. Could you just comment on how he's performed there? Yeah, I mean, he's had, you know, he's had a really good two weeks. You know, two weeks ago, had a huge catch for us uh, to set up a game-winning field goal under pressure um, and had a couple of really nice catches. Probably had the, game, uh, the catch of the week last week on a uh, third and 17, um, and he catches an out route and then fights his, fights himself to get that first down, really stretching and giving great effort for the team uh, to end up setting up a a game-winning situation for us there, too. Um, Great kid, hard worker, um, really physically gifted, has really good speed, really good route runner, um, and it's been nice to have him back the first two games he wasn't able to play against Notre Dame, but just having him back and healthy and just having him have a positive impact on this entire team. Um, He's just a pleasure to coach every single day. Thank you so much, Coach. Coach, thanks so much for joining us today. We look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. Thanks, guys.